All right, what's going on, guys? Shira, y'all know who she is. Hey, I got to say this before we start, man. Respect to... I'm not, I'm not a fan of Shira, but I got to respect, man. Awesome. Thank that she's there. She she is a, an amazing talker. It's just what she talks about is so crazy. But she is giving us the game, guys. Respect her for being there because she has given us the game to, to know what to go against, you know? Women who listen to her, let them listen to her. And we'll give our messages. But you guys who just go over here and just hate and blah, 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 and get on Shira's page and be like, she going to die alone. And shut up with all that. Shut up with all that. Okay? L- sit your ass down. Listen, learn, and take what you can and move on. That's what she does. You don't think she'd be listening to us? Not me in particular, but you don't think she'd be listening to Boy, y'all better. It promises that somebody told you. What you need to do is get yourself together, like what you're doing right now, and focus on what you can have or who wants to do things for you rather than who doesn't want to do anything for you. Because that's what it seems like a lot of y'all are doing. Y'all seem like a lot of y'all are waiting for somebody who never wants to do anything for you to do something for you. When there are plenty of people out there that would love to do something for you. But you just can't be bothered with that. You can't be bothered with that. But you could be bothered with somebody who doesn't think you're important at all. Y'all see what I'm saying? Are y'all y'all ain't even listening to me tonight. Y'all ain't even listening to me tonight. Are y'all listening to what she's saying? Y'all hear what she just said? Oh my gosh. See, this is how she pulls women in. Because not everything she said is wrong. Listen to it again. <laughs> Man, this freaking candle is so loud. I'm going to have to blow it out. It, it, I love wooden burning candles. But it's so loud for me. I can hear it. So what do you do if he's a millionaire and barely has time to fly to my country? Get somebody that has enough money to supply your needs and wants wherever you are. Okay, why are y'all reaching so far away to dreams and hopes? Get something that you can touch and that can pay them bills. Now, that's not what she just said. But y'all remember that video we watched but from Poor Minds? And they said the exact same damn thing. They said, quit going for the millionaire. Go for the man who had enough that you can get to that can take you on trips. You ain't getting to the millionaire man. You're not getting to him. He's busy. He's got things going on. He don't want to do anything for you. Go for the man who makes 150000 who will fly you around. Man, simps, will always, simps with money will always exist. Live in that world. Women will find these. Most women won't find these men, but there will be women who do. There will be women who do. I'm just saying, y'all need to listen a little bit. All right. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. Y'all are worried about people in a whole other country. Y'all are worried about people who don't even, you ain't even on a radar. Okay. Y'all, y'all think more about other people than they even think about you. Some of y'all, not all of y'all, some of y'all are smart and know how to get the bag, but some of y'all are waiting and 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 hoping and, and you know, living day to day on some fake promises that somebody told you. What you need to do is get yourself together, like what you're doing right now, and focus on what you can have or who wants to do things for you rather than who doesn't want to do anything for you. Because that's what it seems like a lot of y'all are doing. Y'all seem like a lot of y'all are waiting for somebody who never wants to do anything for you to do something for you. When there are plenty of people out there that would love to do something for you. But um, you just can't be bothered with that. You can't be bothered with that. But you could be bothered with somebody who doesn't think you're important at all. (laughs) Ladies. Men. This is why I said there will be simps. She's right. There's somebody out there that will do something for you. Now, these women will ultimately not respect these men. That's where, you know, the divide starts to come with between me and Shira and her or her ideals. Yeah. Like I said, these women are going to find some man who's willing to give up some bread for her. Especially if the woman is keeping herself in shape, keeping herself beautiful and keeping up with herself. Oh, yeah. Some man's going to be spending money. That's what y'all men are to confuse me about. Y'all act like if a woman's good looking, if a woman looks like Kelly Rowland. Y'all think a woman who looks like Kelly Rowland, okay, especially in her heyday, 
Y'all think a woman like that, a 22, year, 22 23-year-old Kelly Rowland, y'all think she's not going to find a man who's going to give her money just because she's a gold digger or just because she just wants the money? She would just wants you to give her that soft life? Y'all are tripping. Boy, y'all are tripping with that. I just don't get it with y'all. Now, like I said, I don't agree with everything Shira says. But sometimes, men, we just have to listen past it. And be like, okay, she's right. There is going to be a man who out there who will give you the money. Man, just don't let it be you. Listen to what she says and make sure you're not that man. That's what y'all got to do. Listen to the game. Listen to the game. And then, like I said, not like I said, <laughs> like I'm saying now, when you're ready to stop playing the game, stop getting out there and trying to get the cookie. Let's play the money game. I'll give you a little money here or I'll get the cookie. I'll take you on a day. I'll leave you. When you're ready to be done with the game and settle your ass down, go get your ass married. Go get married. Not with the scarcity mindset that she's going to steal all your money. Go get your ass out there and get yourself married. Go to some marriage accounts and figure it out. Can you get, and I'm going to say, can you get screwed over in the end? Of course, everybody can. But too many of you men are like, but you can get screwed over. Most of y'all don't make enough fucking money to even have to worry about that. So shut up. Let the men who make that kind of money worry about that. They will have people on their side, lawyers and everything. They can try to protect them the best they can. But you men, you men who are out here making average money, shut y'all ass up. Shut up. Now, most because I understand, it's, it's I hear so many men talking about that. And it's like, but most of y'all don't make enough money to even need to worry about that. Damn, just go out there and find a woman. Life is not meant to be left alone, unless you're planning on being a priest a brother or a sister. And when I say sister, I mean like a nun or you're, and then some of them, you know, become, go on to be mothers, like Mother Mary, all them, not Mother Mary, but uh, Mother Teresa, stuff like that. Okay. Unless you're planning on living the religious life like that, shut yourself up. Or you plan on being a, a, a celibate person and not being one of the, being in one of those, but just being a celibate person who decide they never want to be married. Unless you're one of those three people Shut yourself up. Go get find yourself a woman that you can live with and tolerate, and she can live and tolerate your ass. So think about how silly that looks. Versus oh, how let me let me check something right quick. Let me, let me just check something. Okay, okay, never mind. That's already on perfect. Silly dealing with someone who wants to help you, who wants to pay your bills looks versus someone who ignores you and you are low on a priority list that looks silly okay i'm gonna tell you something oh, that was terrible. if i ever in this life get the opportunity to sit down with shira and us have a conversation that'd be beautiful i don't think she'd ever talk to any of us people on this side if she just i don't think she likes us you don't respect us whatever but just getting past the relationship part I feel like she's a fun person to talk to because she talks very well. And I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but your boy can talk a little bit. <laughs> I can talk a little bit. And I love talking to people who love to talk. And I know us, we can get annoying. As people who like to talk, we get annoying. But every now and then, I do like to get around somebody who likes to talk, especially about stuff like this. You can tell her brain be working. She don't got 600,000 subscribers because she's stupid. There. That's all. I mean, that's literally it. Leave men alone who don't care or don't chase. If they're not chasing you, if they're not trying to do the most for you to see you, to make sure you're happy, make sure you're doing okay, to make sure you have everything you need and want, you don't need them. Mm -mm. You really don't need them because they're you're chasing them at that. She drinks tea. I drink water. Uh oh, sprinkle, sprinkle. Thanks for the cash app, Miss D. Danny. Thank you. So, no. Five hundred dollars right there, gentlemen. She got five hundred dollars to cash up right there, gentlemen. We got to start supporting each other, gentlemen. Just like these women support each other. If men support it, and some of us, to be fair, men do support other men. I see it all the time with medium men and the lead attorney. Y'all be really supporting them, but damn, y'all got to support. We got to support each other. I I get out there and I try to support. You know, I do. I do with the. the I I give up the few shekels I got. We got to start supporting each other. Just like these women support each other. And then we can really start to build this thing brick by brick. Leaving chick by chick. Oh, <laughs> that's my thing. Brick by brick. Not, 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 
getting ready to chase behind nobody for no reason. I don't care what they say they have, what you think they have, what have they given you and what are they continuously doing for you to make you um, want to even be in that situation in the first place. Okay. Um, you will never. Okay. I've watched a few of her videos. I'm not sure what the eye thing is, but. You will up. never, ever, ever, ever find a woman that loves, truly loves herself, chasing behind no man. They will always chase her because a woman attracts. That's, that's our power. We attract. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you're not attracting and you have to chase, that means you're repelling. Okay. Then it's, this is where the power dynamic starts to come to play. There are high value women who, women who are in high demand, but there are high value men. So what happens when a high value woman comes in with a high value man? A high value man is going to win that because he's going to have damn near everything, right? He's going to have the money. He's going to have the network. He's going to have the use to society. So yeah, if a high value man comes to connection with a high value woman, guess who's going to be chasing whom? Guess who wins? The high value woman will win if she gets the high value man. She won the race, baby. And, and the man, he gets a woman. A man who finds a wife finds a good thing. Finds a wife, not a woman. Finds a wife is a good thing. They both win. Everybody wins right there. However, I don't believe that men, you should chase women. No, 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 no. You should be the one attracting. If you got the resources, you'll attract the women you want. Because if the woman is attracting you, and I, here, here's the thing. A woman obviously can attract you men. But it shouldn't be where it's like she got you whipped up. Like, she ain't the prize. I'm sorry. You're the prize. Make that clear and concise. But see, when you are a man of means, you ain't got to say shit. Everybody know. Everybody in the room will know who you are. Okay? When you're the right person in society, we're talking about high-value men. Now, it's average men. It works different for us. But those high-value men, when they walk in the room, everybody know. It ain't no question. And she going to try. That's why these women go to football games. That's why these women go to the NBA games. And I'm not trying to put us with athletes, but just giving examples. This is why women go to hotels. This is why women try to be around high-value men. This is why these girls that you see in college, they be hanging around at the law school. They be hanging around them steps, them stairs. That's why you see women hanging around at certain libraries. That's why you see women hanging around with the engineering kids. They be, they be hanging around going to the projects. They be going to the school events. Oh, yeah. That's why these women do that. They know what to do. Some of these women don't. Not most women don't. I wouldn't say most women, but <laughs> some women don't know what the hell they're doing. They hanging around. <laughs> they hanging around with their girlfriends thinking men are going to come find them. <laughs> not men who got things going on. They not coming over there. I talked to a woman the other night, and then I'm going to shut up. I told another girl this. I said, well, how do you expect men to find you? She said, well, I go to school all day, and I have a part-time job. Well, guess what then, baby girl? You better get ready. You better go buy Sparks. <laughs> you better go buy Sparkles. Because he's the only one going to be around. He's the only one who's going to be waiting for you every time you get home. Every time you get home, there's going to be Sparks. <laughs> he's going to be right there every night. But if you want a man that you want, a man of means, or somebody you're trying to get, you're going to have to go where they are. You cannot wait and chill with your girlfriends in the nursing hall all damn day and expect men to be like, oh, you know what I want to do? I'm going to go get Betsy. I'm going to go get uh, uh, Susie, and I'm going to go on over to the... No! He's trying to graduate. He knows what this means. He knows if he succeeds out of this college and he gets into his engineering or gets into his uh, law school, he knows life-changing things can come if he works his ass off hard enough. Not saying everybody who goes into those fields is going to make life-changing money, but he knows there's a chance. He knows there's an opportunity. He knows if he gets these skills, there's a chance. So, ladies, if you want to get with Billy... Not Billy. Billy works on fries. If you if you want to get Marcus, okay, you want to get you want to get a uh you want to <laughs> <trying> to think, <laughs> oh, yeah, but you want to get Marcus, you want to get Jamil, you want to get Raheem, you better go and get your booty kicks over there. You want to get Zach, Zach's over there. You want Billy on fries? You can go around a nursing hall, and then when you go out to eat at McDonald's right one night, there's gonna be a be Billy right there waiting for you. On fries, say do you want it small or large? And sometimes you might get a. Uh... <laughs> Who else could Billy hang out? Sometimes you might get Bobby. 
Bobby gonna be working the drive through. Welcome to McDonald's. Working a district tonight. You sure you want a number one with cheese? Okay, anything else? Okay, pull around to the window that I bring you 384. Do what you want, ladies. Keep playing around. If you're repelling a man, or if he's stringing you along because he has other things that are more important to you, then you are devaluing yourself by even giving him the time of day and not moving on to a different situation that's better for you, okay? All right. If you got anything else. Okay. Spark, spark. Thank you, Olympia. Well, you know what? If a man didn't buy you nothing, then you're not on his priority list, okay? See, see, that's the thing. Right. She never lies. I mean, what am I saying? What the fuck did I just say? She lies. But, so she teaches you to lie. However, <laughs> even a clock is right. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. She just said, you're not on his part. Like, she says stuff that makes complete sense. But I think you just overlook it because she says some manipulative shit. But some of the stuff she says, like, if you bring it back, just, just before she goes over that hill and starts... Right, right before Shira gets over that hill, she's right here. Boy, she can give you some stuff. She just said you're not on his priority, and that's true. I mean, damn. Like, she really just said, women, you're not his priority. If women just listen to that part, they'd be okay. If they, if they stopped at this point of the video, they might be okay. But like, you know what? I can't get this man. I might have to go get... uh. I might have to go get Lucas. He works second shift at the plant. He makes sixty thousand dollars a year, but damn it, he gives me his time. If women just listen to that advice, they'd be fine. But what ends up happening, and they they don't put in the effort, and they said it's instead of going for Lucas on second shift, they start going for Marcus, who's the supervisor in the region. They want to go for him, and he don't give them no time of day because he's traveling everywhere. He ain't got no time for you, baby girl. No, they keep going for him. Keep texting him. You want to go out tonight? And it's like, yeah, maybe in a couple months. Fuck wrong with you. You could have got Lucas. Lucas, who got 6000 and he's working his way up. He's about to become the night manager. That's going to give him a good, a good, nice little raise. He's only 32. He's making $75,000 a year now. You could have got with Lucas. But instead, you went for Marcus. And Marcus ain't got time for you. Marcus is on the bigger and better things. He got Susie. He got Clara. He got Kenzie. He got Keisha. He got Mary. He got Maria. And Marisol. And you trying to get with him instead of Lucas. Who could, who could, Lucas will. They call him Aladdin in the streets. I can show you the world. I messed that up. Shut up. Sprinkle. Okay. Sorry about that. Is that even yeah. Aladdin? I show you. Is, is that Aladdin or is that? Yeah, that's Aladdin. a priority list. You're not on the priority list. Some some women have to know what a man thinks of them before they can wake up and go do something else. Okay, because it's not it's not going to click until somebody else tells you and wakes you up from your fantasy. <laughs> Uh, by the way, okay. do I think men of just this generation are too feminine to chase women? You know what? That's not my problem. That's not my problem. If they want to be the feminine men of this generation, let them represent. Okay, but you they see, are still. Mad. She she just immediately gets right off of that. See, she's smart. She knows her lane. Like I'm not about to get into no damn politics about if a man's feminine. I'm here to tell you how to get a man with money. I don't give a fuck about them. That's what us men need to start doing. Instead of going, well, what about uh, Sippy McSimpson? I'm not worried about Sippy McSimp Simp. Sippy McSimp Simp is going to worry about Sippy McSimp. Billy on fries is going to worry about the fries he making tonight. Billy's going to go home, play Rocket League with his friends, and he's going to get back up at 10 o'clock, work that 10 to 7 shift, working fries. I'm not worried about Billy. I'm worried about you. Let's worry about us. And we us building stuff. We trying to make a difference in relationships. We trying to teach men. Stop worrying about Billy on fries. You need to worry about you. Stay in your lane. Damn, too many of y'all men bitch too. Whoa, you men bitch too much about other men. Just because Billy on fries decided he was going to take Keisha out, who works on burgers, 
Y'all are like, well, Keisha shouldn't get it. How come Keisha can get Billy, but I can Shut up. Let Keisha worry about Keisha on burgers and let Billy take Keisha out for a nice little steak and shake, okay? You let Billy and Keisha get together and let their Billy and Keisha life. But y'all so mad hating on Keisha because she got a man and you still can't get a woman because you too worried about bitching every five seconds instead of building yourself up. Shut up and move on. Man, stay in y'all's lane. Woo, I'm getting tired about hearing about Billy on fries masculine men out there who know what they want and they're going to go out and make sure they have what they want and make sure the woman knows that she's a priority and make sure that uh, she can be in her feminine and he's going to be in his masculine. Good for those who represent the feminine side of masculinity in this generation. They're not for us. Okay? Sprinkle, See? sprinkle. They're for those pygmishas out there. I know she was using the stream yard. That's for them. Remember, there's two different types of people. Pick me Chanel, who will settle for whatever, and those that don't. So which one are you? We don't make excuses. We find solutions and keep it moving. There's no, there's no need to focus on this generation of men who, are you really dating this generation of men? Mm, I could go on for the rest of the damn day on this lady. I'm going to try to bring it really Bring this in. But y'all hear what she's saying? She said, we're not focused on them. Y'all hate Shira. I get it. I don't like Shira that much either because she uses some really manipulative tactics. But when y'all look just a little bit past that and just take what the good is, some of you men can learn something. I'm just showing y'all some of the stuff to read in between the lines. Take what you can from that and then take the, leave the rest, you know, get the meat, leave the bones. Okay. Take what, take what you need and get on with your life. Even shit I say, some of the stuff I say, you're not going to apply to y'all for you men who make tons more money than me. Ain't shit. I can really say to you, take what you can from me. Get the hell on. If for you, some of y'all like, I don't know. I don't trust this fat motherfucker. Take what you can. Get the hell on. I'm just here to help, baby. I'm going to get you what I can. And then I'm going to get the hell on. I know most of y'all... Hit that like button if you can for me, please. ...this generation of men. So why don't you date an older generation of men that have what you actually want and put you in the place that you're supposed to be put as a priority who still know what masculinity is, who grew up with it. Why don't you find something like that? Or at least someone who was raised that way. Do you see what she's saying? She just told these women who said, what about the feminine men? What the fuck are you worried about that for? It's pretty much what she just said. Why are you worried about that? Are you going after those men? No. Then what did you even bring them up for? <laughs> okay, we don't have time to mess around. You can skip this whole generation. Okay, just pretend this whole generation turned out gay. If you're a woman who's straight and skip them. Okay? Leave them for pig leash in them. Finish raising their sons and whatnot. Okay? The older generation, it depends on what type you get. Are you getting the generation that has a strong work ethic, the generation that has money, the generation that has financial stability, knowledge, and savings? Or are you just taking any old man that's sitting at the corner store drinking a 40? I mean, which generation are you speaking of? I'm talking about, when I say older men, y'all have to realize I'm not talking about the man at the corner store. I'm talking about the man that has nice house, car, business. All of that, okay? Because why else would you be dealing with an older man? Makes no sense. Unless you're just that desperate. Okay? She's a genius. She's a genius. And she can bring... She can bring... I, I made a community post the other day, and I said, she, if y'all listen to Shira, you get ready to buy that dog. <laughs> now long. I ain't taking that back. But what I will say is I can understand why women follow her. I can, if, if women took just, if they didn't follow everything she said and just say, you know what? I'm not going to try to get a man to do blah, 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 blah. But what I can do is focus on the man I can get. Let me focus on Lucas. You know, let me focus on Lucas. Let me give him a great life. Let me, let me learn to be submissive, feminine to every man I come across, not just Lucas, every man and see what I can get. Because you might not, baby girl, you're not getting, not everybody's getting 
my, not everybody's getting markets, okay? Some of y'all gonna get Lucas, who makes 60,000, maybe gets himself up to 75 to 80. And some of y'all get Billy on fries. Pick your pick who you can get and love who you can. If y'all just took that from Shira, y'all be good. Now she's gonna go mixing it up and be like, hey, you need to do this. She even says if she'll even tell you to lie to a man, tell him you need money for this, and you actually spend the money on a BBL or something. She didn't go that far, but she said, if a money if a man asks for an if you want to get a nose job and get breast implants, pretty much, how do you get that from a man? And Shira will say, lie to him and tell him you're using the money for something else. See, I, I can't fuck with that one, Shira. See, that's the stuff that I can't mess with her on. But I'm taking the meat, leaving the bones, okay? Fuck with me. Peace.